So hey Tony, so yeah, I will show you. Come on. We have some, I think, more exciting new stuff to show this year at Music Messer. We didn't want to show anything at NAM because we wanted our German friend to be exclusive with that news. So we have actually two things I want to show you. Uh, first, we worked on a new interface, human interface for the Torpedo Live and the Torpedo Cab. We found out that, yeah, that's it. We found out that our users sometimes, when they start with the Two Notes product, they are a little intimidated because are not all of them are familiar with how you do a biking, a recording of a guitar amp or bass amp. So we thought about, you know, that concept we have in the video game, the concept about arcade or simulation. Arcade means usually you can crash the car to every tree around the next row and it doesn't matter, you can crash into other cars and still you can win the race. Right. When you get to be an expert, you can go into simulation mode yeah. where you have to be careful with that. If you crash the car, it's game over. So, we translated that to the Torpedo Lab and Cab. So, the idea is we have different presets. Right. Some of them are called simulation, which is the usual traditional interface that every two notes user knows already. And we have what we call the arcade, so for example. So we put some funny stuff around just from the master. And on the arcade, now you start with choosing a room, which is right. new. That's new. Right. So for example, I want to play in the basement, so let's go with that. I choose, as usual, the cabinet, the microphone. And we just keep a few parameters. More like a guitar based stuff parameters, I can say. So you try to you can run the power amp modeling either cold or hot or off. If you don't need it, for example, with the live you use with an amp, you don't need the power amp. It's off. The distance of the microphone from close to far. The farther you go, the more you you have some room sound reverb. The tone can be dark or bright, and we have a kind of an EQ from vintage to modern vintage is more into mid mid yeah, frequencies yeah. and modern more kind of yeah. a, with more highs and lows. Yeah. So we think that uh, for the guitar player who wants to discover how to record his amp, that's a good way to start with the Tunas product. And when you're familiar enough with that, and if you want to enter more advanced parameter, just have maybe you just have to save that into the simulation, oh, sorry, right. yeah, demo effect. So into the simulation, and let me just change the view. So into simulation, you get the full tuners parameter. And this is new. I think you guys, you guys will like. Yes, this is new. For example, so you can put your microphone in a new room, in a loft or whatever. Of course, everyone, uh, everyone will record with 10 seconds of reverb in the cat room. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. so, so you get that, that, that new stuff. And I, I think it will help for, I think, the beginner, or just if you don't have time. Yeah. Five parameters, yeah. you, you, don't, you just need a few you minutes. You want to play, that's the thing. Yeah. And, uh, and when the day comes, go into simulation and <laughs> race with a proper car. Okay. So the other news we have, yeah. this is a big step for us, okay. because we, we found that um, most of the customers that we have, when they use the torpedo cab, you know our pedal, yeah. um, they, they struggle with the choice of the preamp. Because of course you can use a torpedo cab with one of these nice Wampler pedal or whatever on the drive distortion. We have plenty of this here around us. And, um, but to me, the, if you skip the preamplifier, it, your tone will miss something. It will be good, but it will it won't be as good as a proper amp. So we used to uh, tell the people, okay, you should try this. We are good friends with Blackstar and with other brands. That makes great preamps, but I wanted to design something more 
more dedicated to the way we work with products. For example, a thing I need as a user of Tuna stuff is to be able to switch the channel of a torpedo cab depending on the kind of sound I want. For example, I may not want to use the same cabinet if I'm playing overdrive or clean tones. I think that makes sense. So, we simply decided to go and put, for example, a MIDI in and out on our pedal. So, this is a new line of product. I have to tell you, uh, the look may change a little because this is an early prototype, but you get the idea. Yeah. High voltage tube preamps right. with two channels, A and B. We market them as Le Lied. We try to play the French touch, you know, Le Lied, the yeah, branch, yeah. the bass. Yeah, I know. Uh, and uh, we wanted to have the few options I need when I'm on stage. For example, I need an FX loop. I need a GI out, maybe with an analog speaker in, so you can use it as a standalone unit. If you don't want to have the top of the car, you can go on stage with that only. And we have a special mode, so you can see the, uh, not on that one, but maybe on that one, for example, which is better looking. And we love bass players, sometimes people forget about that. Yes, absolutely. And uh, you have a simple EQ here, and a more advanced EQ here with the mid and the mid swing. I need a mid swing to work with my guitar products. And the special option that we call Fusion. So you can be on A channel, B channel, or N. This is a Fusion. When you're into Fusion... You're mixing the two together. Yes, exactly. You can actually choose between cold and hot Fusion. When you're in cold Fusion like that, A and B are in parallel. Meaning you can blend a little clean tone into your ground tone here. And if you decide to go with the lead, uh, sorry, the hot, hot fusion, A and B are in cascade, meaning A can be a boost for B. For example, if you're into some kind of exactly so like this, you get a major boost. Just roll up the bass, push the treble, you have a treble boost. Right. You're into, I don't know, some more first sound. Just crank the bass all the way. You want to dirty a little the, that first sound with some treble boost. It's really, it's not that complicated. But we, even if this one is more of a brunch, this one more of a clean bass or me, all of them have a proper clean sound, proper distortion sound. The clean will give you two clean channels with a little distortion. If you push A and B and put the hot fusion, you will get some, I don't know, some garage fenderish over the top. I think you would need to have a large room if you want to crank your fender. This one is more a British something kind of stuff uh, with a very nice brush, HDDC tones. And with this, you will go into a kind of a hot rotted. You should have been black and black. <laughs> yeah, but the, <laughs> I think. Right. Uh, and and the good thing, as a tech guy, you will like that. Yeah. So we put MIDI in this, but actually we don't really use MIDI because this baby, they talk to each other. Meaning, if you change them. How are they talking? Yeah, we just use it as a connection. Yes, oh, exactly. Right. Yeah, but because most of the pins here are useless on MIDI. So we decided just to use it. Okay. And uh, for example, if you press A here, it will bypass the other preamps. So it's really like you have several channels of yeah. the same amp. And I think it makes sense. Uh, yeah. I, uh, so you can use all three pedals. Absolutely. Like, I want you to. Like a yes, exactly. Like six, six channels six channel. plus A and B. Right. So yeah, what's, what's the third one? Exactly. So right. quite a lot of options here. You can decide to use that as an overdrive. Of course, like any preamp. Yeah. But uh, I mean, put this in a power amp, put a proper cabinet, and man, I can tell you. This is serious stuff. Let me ask you a silly question. What about the power? Is it regular band, um, sort of 9 volts or 18 volts? We, we use 12 volts, use 12. regulated, and inside, the inside runs at 200 volts. Okay, what's the amperage? 
the, I'm sorry? What should it uh, be? Uh, it should be some, somewhere around 400 milliampere. Oh, it's not that high then. Not that high, but still you need that kind of very good power supply right. to have the proper supply. Right. Of course, it should be pretty smooth. Yes, and, and of course we will supply the world warrant. Yeah. But uh, we have good friends with Seahawks or other proper uh, proper uh, uh, power supply builders. I will give you for What are you as well? Right? No, no, this is Seahawks. Yeah, uh, I got you. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Oh. So, so um, because they will supply the right. proper amount. And, uh, and yeah, that's okay. It's all good. Yes. And uh, last thing, yeah. you know, we are more of a studio brand, if I can say yeah. that. We, we really want to tell the people that we build guitar and bass stuff, but with studio in mind, studio yeah. quality in mind. Right. And uh, this is new for us as we enter the, the guitar business. But what uh, I want to communicate is that we design that with the same technique that we designed the torpedo stuff. Right. So you can expect low noise, low cross low, you know what I mean? All the good bits. Right. If possible. And even if it's only one tube, one high voltage tube, the full electronics inside runs at 200 volts. Right. Even we have some transistors in it, we mixed, it's a kind of hybrid design, right. and but everything runs at 200 volts. Right. Which makes a difference. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure it does. Excellent, Will. Thank you, Tony. Good to meet you too. And, uh, and uh, no doubt I'll be looking at somebody's oh, gear. You'll get to try this. On this one. Thank Thanks you for the time. Yeah. By the way, your website name. Oh, so we're two knots. It's www. Two knots. Two minus notes. Dot com.